Welcome to Wessex Garages Gloucester. Here today we have the Kia Seed 3 GDI DCT. Now this vehicle was first registered in 2013. This particular model has a 1.6 litre petrol engine. Now it does have an automatic gearbox. The vehicle is in black. We do have body coloured bumpers, wing mirrors and door handles. The vehicle is in tax band E which equates to £125 road tax per year. This vehicle does have an automatic defog system, automatic headlights and privacy glass in the back windows. To make our way around the vehicle, we see that we do have daytime running LED headlights. The wheels are 16 inch 5x2 spoke alloy wheels. We do also do have the LED indicators in the wing mirrors themselves. We also have this beautiful chrome surrounding on all the windows in the vehicle. We do have speed sensitive auto door locking and automatic unlocking of doors in the case of an impact. At the back, again, we have LED lights at the back. We do have a high level third brake light. This vehicle is fitted with an emergency stop system. So if the emergency brake was applied, then the back lights will flash rapidly, followed by the hazard lights. This vehicle does have traction control and remote central locking. So if we open up the boot and take a look inside. So we do have a very spacious boot. There is a parcel shelf that's removable. There's a 60-40 split on the back seat should you need the additional space. And if we lift this up, look underneath, you'll see additional storage compartments. Again, if we lift this up again, you'll find a spare wheel and jack set. Again, all in perfect condition. We do have rear parking sensors on the rear of the vehicle. We also do have a reversing camera, which I'll show you in more detail as we get inside the vehicle. So if we open up the back doors, take a look inside. First thing you'll notice is we do have electric windows in the back as well as the front. We also do have these beautiful chrome door handles. So we do have a cloth upholstery inside. This is a nice cloth upholstery. Three spacious seats, all with three point seat belts and head restraints. And the back seats are ISO fix enabled should you need to put a child seat in the back. Now if there were only two passengers in the back then the middle seat does double up as an armrest and we do have the two cup holders inside. Above we do have a passenger light which can be turned on or off at the passenger's wish. Now we do have these map pockets in the back of the driver and passenger seats. Also additional storage for bottles in the sides of the doors. So if we open up the driver's door and take a look inside. First thing you'll notice is this control panel just here. This controls all the electric windows in the vehicle. You can also disable the back windows from being operated. Now looking at the steering wheel and dash itself, as you can see, lots of buttons and there's a very beautiful dash. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and turn the engine on. Do have a little Kia welcome message. Straight away we can see how many miles we've got left until we need to put more petrol in the tank. Now we do have lots of buttons on the steering wheel. These are steering wheel mounted audio controls. So we can mute tracks, we can change the volume, change tracks, and we can also answer telephone calls as well. So over to the dashboard itself. We do have a seven inch touchscreen full navigation system. So if we turn this on, so we've got the radio on at the minute, that's the AM, FM radio. We've got touch screen, so we can just click through all of the FM radio stations till we find the one that we like. Click on it. I'll have a full bulletin. Then it will change to the radio station that you want. Now we do have an AUX and USB input. We click map, click agree. That's when, you'll see, guidance. that's when you'll see the full colour map. Again, if we click navigation, click address, type in a destination, we've just set it to Cheltenham at the minute, and click start. It's going to calculate the route. Press start again. Starting route guidance. And there we have our navigation to Cheltenham. Now we press this phone button, we click search for Bluetooth devices. What we do is if we have a Bluetooth enabled phone, we connect our phone to the system. We can then play music through this. And we can also add to telephone calls using the steering wheel mounted audio controls. And we have the 
clean air air conditioning unit which can be set to automatic. Then we have underneath that, that's where you'll find the AUX and USB input. We also do have two 12 volt power sockets hidden away quite nicely. Then we have our automatic gearbox, followed by our two cup holders and brake. We do have this lever armrest which again doubles up as the additional storage. Now you can change gear using the automatic gearbox but we also do have gear shift paddles which are situated either side of the steering wheel. So if we just put it into drive mode, we flick it over to manual. This changes it into sports mode now as you can see. We do have the gear shift paddles here so if I push it forwards, it goes up to gear 2. If we were driving, clicking it again, gear 3, gear 4, gear 5, etc. And to change down, again, if you look on the speedometer, I'm just going to click this in, changes back to gear 1. Now we're looking at the glove box, we press this button here, the glove box comes down, as you can see, plenty of space inside, there's additional storage in the sides of the doors. If you like this vehicle, you'd like to reserve it online, you'll be entitled to an extra £75 discount. If you're looking for finance and look no further than our dealer finance, we can confidently beat any bank or high street lender. So come on down to the showroom and see our dedicated business manager for a great deal.